Do you think this because you're driving, you're the only one? There is a spiritual kid who was saying, I'm catching them. If God is saying, I'm giving, go into the spiritual discord. The Bible said he gives with him heart. Why broken there? When they do not connect you with your spiritual realm, it's like chasing away a dog, but when you throw away the stones, the young dog comes back. That's the reason why many people who are they do not become delivered because they are familiar to each other. I like to tell you do not ask to be like others. Sometimes you ask to sit in a chair like the other ones. He is not sitting on the chair, instead he is carrying it on his head. And you find some people are burdened with their achievements. He cannot sleep. Mutawaz, point him and wish him the blessing of God. May the Lord bless him. Since Indiba Mujamutacher is a Kuihanga of the Dani Mutawaz, I did in I do not know if you listen to his songs because he sings about the soul and when you have already went there. He lives in the melody of Azafians in Jerusalem. May the Lord bless him. May the Lord bless him in the name of Jesus. I want us to read in the good gospel of John. Numurongo umwe waho wo mu gice cya mbere. It's only one verse, verse 1. Chapter 1, verse 16. Amen. 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 For the people we do not know each other, I'm called Aniseti Niyomugabo. I'm a lion, there is no doubt about that. Do you know what's so surprising? Those hand clap shows me that you have never received me. Right now, as and the long time I've been coming here, Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> May the Lord bless you. Ah, I like your shepherd. There are some things that causes us to visit churches. We do not come to fetch the spiritual things because we also have that, that property. Because of the humanity in your shepherd. I want to tell you there are many shepherds, but the humanity in him, the humanity in him is held by a few people. We are so blessed to be with you. And for the shepherd, may the Lord bless him because he allowed us to stand here. And for you as well who allowed us to share the word of the Lord. May the Lord bless you. It's been days since I was fighting a battle. I'm not going to teach you how to fight because I'm going to give you the victory I got from that battle. I've been learning a lesson in mythology of the, of the connection of the spirit and the, and the flesh. 
hari intambara nagiye ndwana there are battles I found out I've been fighting. And the believers are included. Because they do not know what they have in Jesus Christ. We have read the word of God. It has said what is, in, what is full in him. When Paul wrote Colossians. He told them the kingdom Ubumana, and the godliness ubutkware, and the authority ichiwairo, and the honor. He said all of the creatures Christo, it was created by Christ yes. and it was created in Christ Jesus. Archo, when he speaks like that Christo, and then we come back and we say we have received Christ I remain with a question that says amongst the things that are in Christ how many do you have? Amongst the things in Christ you have received how many are they? I accept that people have received Jesus as their king and savior but there are some people who walk with Jesus like an umbrella when the there is rain, they cover themselves. There are others who despise the rain and having an umbrella and say, I'm not opening up my umbrella. They walk in the rain, they cannot cover themselves. It said the rain is, so, is, is few, it's little, it's okay. They do not use the authority of Christ in their lives. I've been looking looking at the value God has given to humans I looked at how God was determined to offer the angels who are supposed to protect his people before I thought the Holy Spirit protects believers the Holy Spirit doesn't protect the believers. He only leads them. The believers otherwise are protected by angels. In this congregation we are in, in the world, there is a group among us, the nine groups of angels. There is a, a group of three angels. One is called Michael. And another one is called Raphael. Gabriel. Another one is called Gabriel. When you have received Christ, Michael fights the battles of this person. It's a battle you are not engaged in only. Even when you believe and you see there is something you want to fight with because the angel does not do what you are telling him he has a mission he was sent to do on your life God orients him. He said, go to Elayon. Go and fight. Do you know what's so surprising? The angel is the spirit. But he does not have spiritual gifts. The angel is a spirit. But he does not have spiritual gifts. I want to speak about what is the fool in him. I have a chance God has touched our shepherd's eyes. He has a revelation he wants to share with us. But for a short moment, what is fullness in Christ Jesus? The day he received Christ, there are some people here together during the day. I told them we, we did not only eat the legs of Jesus. I said it's not the only hands. We have swallowed Christ as whole and 
the soul. I like when I'm eating the Holy Communion. I crush the bread. And I say I'm chewing the forehead. I'm chewing the head of Christ. I'm chewing the bones. I cannot just swallow oh, yeah. just like that. No way. Oh, yeah. No. I first confess some words and chant some words on that prayer. Because it has become into the body of Christ. When I'm eating it, I feel expanded and enlarged. There is another way I feel I'm enlarged. What does cause that? It is only faith. What is faith again? It is the life we receive with Christ. The day we received Christ as our King and Savior. That's the day we received the life that is called faith in Christ. Faith. It is another wisdom. That comes with the soul and the flesh and the eternal life of Christ. You cannot know that there is something you have been given before knowing the worthness of the one who gave you. The reason why you can know that you have a few of things it's because you haven't known the richness of the grace God offers to his people. This man you have read called John he has true history the theology of Greek doesn't approve it because it has confused their minds why am I telling you this even some people in today's church for them to believe in Christ they began to meet with a wall of something they are aware of themselves now when you are in trouble and you find that your brain is telling you that you are smart and intelligent you become an ignorant person in the spiritual realm there are some things that enters into you and you say this is impossible and this is this cannot be done by non-believers it is done by the believers who do not accept the work of Christ I recently read the Bible and I laughed the Bible told me on the day of our Lord King, the angel found John in spirit. I want you to understand me clearly. And now I'm asking myself, where is this angel coming from? Why didn't he talk to John while he was in heaven? While the heaven is the center of all the spiritual things. Do you know what's so surprising? The angel didn't speak to John in spirit. He, he removed him out of the spirit so he can listen and understand him. Because the realm where John was in it surpassed him on angels and he surpassed the elders and he surpassed everyone. He surpassed the Caribbeans. He surpassed the and he entered it. why is that John was poured the blood but the angel wasn't redeemed by the blood we have a relation in Christ Jesus that gives us to be exceedingly we are exceeding the world and all of those great people in flesh until the time John he was in spirit
spirit what the angel found out was one he knew where John was filled he said I know where you are I'm finding you there because I can't find you in the spirit because you are, you are very far from me that life that's the life we walk in where, when we are in the house that's the realm we pray in that's the realm where God creates a child in a barren womb when Paul was talking about he said there is someone I know who went into the third heaven it is a personal realm to someone who has only been filled with the Holy Spirit this realm do you know what's so surprising a man called Daniel took his wishes to that realm but he didn't get what God gave him there he prayed for 21 days he was saying please God I'm asking give me do you know the reason why his flesh is not connected to his spirit he has things he came to ask for he kept on asking but he didn't have an intimacy with God when you keep asking and when you do not have an intimacy and relationship with God the one who is giving you he will give you when you are blind when you keep on asking and not having a relation with God the hands of the giver you turn your back on them the angel descended and said love Daniel since the day you began since you began on the first day your prayers have been hard and now I'm descending to give you your things now why did his prayers was hard and he did not receive his prayers it requested him a long chance of connecting his mind to God's mind but by then to us it doesn't require us a journey like Daniel's journey by the day Christ was sacrificed on the cross he came to connect you to God he came where we are neutral and he made us a face he came when you were weak and then he came to make you a priest <laughs> this mind in the spiritual realm when you do not have it you become a servant in your own things there is a man who took a journey together he's a rich man and then I told him oh my God God has given you things but you did not receive he said and he said really I have a tall building in Kigali of business it has 18 doors and clients I have another tall building I sleep in I have 8 actress trucks and then you are telling me that I did not receive how I said what is remaining is to receive the authority over your things there are some things who have things that has made them servant instead of making those things serve them people in Elayon we are familiar to each other I like to tell you do not ask to be like others sometimes you ask to sit in a chair like the other ones he is not sitting on the chair instead he is carrying it on his head and you find some people are burdened with their achievements he cannot sleep 
During the day he cannot rest. It's the time of enjoying the promises God has fulfilled in his life. That he reached at home from Dubai, he slept and died. The results of the doctor, it's the stroke that is killing him. The explanation that this person did not have this, instead he was carrying these things. He did not receive the blessing. Instead, instead his blessing became a burden on his life God doesn't bless like that No, no. What is requested Connect your flesh realm to the spiritual realm Have a peace while the security guard is not even around have, say, have peace when you're on your account number there is security have peace when you have, you have academics have peace when you have work and have peace again when you have not even worked again there is this peace we do not achieve because of the work we have done with the work. we get it because of what you we have received is full in Christ Jesus hallelujah I had children whom we showed they are going to get married. They could stand and say, It's so hard, it's so difficult, please pray for us. But God spoke about it. Do you know the reason why it's so difficult? It's very, very easy. But you have panicked. You are putting it into your ability. You have put Christ's ability besides. Let me tell you the reason why life is so difficult. Some people. It's because you lean on your own understanding. Why people in this service and those online. There is nothing your brain or your mind or your wisdom can do without a sacrifice. When you do not know how to get a sacrifice for your mind and brain, you, you use yours and it kills you instead of saving you. That's the reason why. That's the reason why they say great countries, they have these great weapons that can kill the whole world and amongst the worlds it can kill, their world is included. I swear even though you call them wise people but it is the burden of their mind. Outside here there is people who have money and they do not have Christ, and they have Christ as well. There are some people who have everything and they have peace as well. There are some people who have diplomas and they have peace. But the proof of battles in mind. When you are still in school, you were not troubled, but after you have finished your academics, you are troubled of the job. And before you got the diploma, you were not troubled, but you have that you haven't yet received your diploma. Now, and all of your knowledge, it is enclosed into a paper, and then you have carried that and now you have become a troubled man that biology it's called <laughs> your subconscious have crushed 
An accident it's something that happens where it, it was. Crashing, but crashing it's something that falls from a place, a certain place and to another place. Imagine you, you are you are We become servants of the things why we are the children and the prophet and the priests. We are the children of another kingdom. Why is this? You want to enter into who you are in a spiritual world through what you are in the way you are in your mind. No! No! Do not think, do not think that there is a sane person who can contradict a prophet when he, he has never been in the spiritual realm. You know even the languages confuse you in, the, in, in your mind and then you are going to contradict to contradict a prophet when you haven't yet even spoke of the spiritual tongues. It is a battle in your mind. Let me speak about deliverance and then we finish. When John was speaking about the revelation, they cut off the right hand he was using to write. They said we have burnt you, you didn't burn. We have beat you up in the city, you did not die. We put you in the oil, you did not die. Now we are bringing you into the city on the mountain and it's time for you to write. They cut off his hand. Let me ask you before we read on this story. Are we given all the hands by the Lord or not? It's the Lord who gave us his hands. They cut off John's hand. In the morning, he had another hand. He was writing the scriptures. And when the Greeks saw that, they said this phenomena is impossible to not announce. Inside you as well, there is someone also who is troubled in their mind. If God has made soil, and he breathed into it and became a full human. Now, how is it hard and how long can it take to put on another hand? So that I can confuse you so that you can understand the spiritual There are many who came. They came into the wisdom of this world when they were dead. In the spiritual realm, they were elders. When they entered into the room where Jesus was, it was full of people who were each other. They said, We do not care as long as we have reached the place. They brought. To enter with the gravity is impossible. I do not know how they climbed the roof. If they used the ladder, I do not know. What I do know is the Bible said they climbed. They removed the roof. They took the dead man, the crippled man. I want you to defeat your subconscious mind and listen to the words. He took a crippled person. He is in a coffin. Now they are above the roof to throw someone who is crippled. In the spiritual realm, this is what Jesus wanted. So that they can believe that he threw the one they have, he must defend, but he faints in front of Jesus. But in the flesh realm, this is foolishness. First of all, you have removed other people's roofs. Shame on you. 
How can you do that? In, in this physical world, you kneel down and pray for the chair you are sitting on saying that God, I want to work in that office. How come? But in the spiritual realm, if you shut, you are going to be an ignorant man. And in the physical world, if you speak, you are ignorant. Now it requires you to choose who you are. <laughs> Imagine you have found someone on the way for so many years he had been crippled. And then say, go to Siloam pool and bathe yourself. Imagine Jesus is the only man who sent a blind person without even giving them to guide them. That is impossible in the physical world. But in the spiritual world, Jesus is seeing him as someone who have eyes, who have sight. Go, and, go to Siloam pool. He's going to be leaded by only yes, that word. Because Jesus will never doubt on that. It is impossible. He believes in his word that when he says it happens. That's why he said do not worry. Fear not. The, the reason why he said fear not. And he tells you not to worry without having a an image of humor. Romans did very bad things when they were writing the Bible. They removed the book of Enoch. Enoch is the only man who lived with God 365 years. He lived in the spiritual realm that makes God see the body of Enoch as spirit. <laughs> Let me not burden you and finish. Enoch lived in the spiritual realm. Until, until God appreciated approaching and living with Enoch because Enoch's spirit covered the body of Enoch and Enoch Enoch's body become a spirit as well. Even though this may cause an accident in your mind, but please be sorry, I'm going to say it. The space of authority where Satan was in heaven. God gave that space in Enoch as soon as he ascended. He became an angel called Metatron. He's an angel who cannot be sent to a human being because he's not a servant of a human being. He stayed. He's an angel who gives out ideas in a meeting of angels. Didn't you know that a human can become an angel? It means Rhoda went to open and when he saw Peter, he was so happy and he went back running. When he reached there, he said, it's not Peter, it's his angel. It means he changed what? He changed to an angel. <laughs> That's how they believed it. There is a man called Zechariah. He reached in the holy place of the holiest. Do you think this because you are driving you are the only one? There is a spiritual kid who was saying I am catching them. If God is saying I am giving them go into the spirit of this the bible said he gives with you hearts why can he not give you you do not have any trouble you cut it as well you receive as well 
I also create you change your cast but I also created mine. Okay. All right then. I know this goal. Even though you can be in your past. The smell of the truth of the Lord. It can also make you leave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even the shadow of Jesus was healing sick people. And then you're waiting for him. If he didn't touch you, just go behind the shadow. In the spiritual realm, there are some people who need, who knows how to receive their covenants in Christ. What's so sad? We have half faith. Half faith. We have faith that changes Jews into the blood of Jesus. And then we drink that concentrated as the blood of Christ. But when you reach on the sick kid, we put our faith on besides. And then we look for other things. Because you take the life in us, it is so hard and difficult. And there are some people who knows how to make bread into matoke, green bananas. Let's see people who want who knows how to make bread in green bananas. Ah, we have so many people who knows how to. It's not to make it into ugali. No. Making bread into green bananas. It is by the day you want to eat it. But you do not want to cut it at all once. And then you remove only one piece. <laughs> After you remove one packet, you cook one dozen. You cook one dozen, but saying there is another green banana big on the tree. No, no, no. You cook one dozen, but saying there is another green you you keep eating that green banana it becomes nicer and nicer and nicer as you delay it becomes even nicer that's how the believers believe as well they believe as delaying a green banana you believe today and you have a wedding when you reach in your home you say the uncle hates me and you, have said, you still make Christ as your foundation but you are still weak and you are still pushing things so hard faith works again and there is another small part of your faith that works again and then after you stop and you leave that green banana in the tree and you leave your faith like that oh my god forbid <laughs> And look at how and look enough faith is telling God that do this and leave this by this moment God speaks about the other things you have written on God did good to you and brought you a prophet who prophesies in authority. When you meet with a prophet who does not prophesy in authority, Ariko <laughs> Noneho, iyari mu butware wowe udashobora kugenda mu nyumve. 
umuhanuzi uri mu butware ntibisaba kwizera kwabahanurira bisaba kwizera kuri guhanura kuko Yohana gera ku muryango na Petero w'urusengero ntabwo bahanurira Elize gukira tia nabishakaga no mu byifuzo nti byari birimo ariko mu butware bwa Yohana harimo gukiza aramubwiye ngo akira gukira haleluya nichi gituma ongera fata mikoro my sister nichi gituma what causes in the angel that have angels that protect you what puts prophets I'm on the point right now the first reason angel, the angel can't connect you with God he fights for you in what you're going through a prophet cannot fight for you as well he connects you with your victory in your battles hallelujah hallelujah what is full in Christ Jesus when he was born there became wise man and someone who believes Christ and King and there are some wise people who are for you they think for what you do not know they love what you have never seen God who sometimes creates wise men who are believers as well may God create wise men for you those wise men Imani shira kumutima wabishaka God put courage on Mire their hearts zizawe. in your dreams oh. Hallelujah Imani fata abanyabwenge God takes wise men Kabahagutekereza ibikugirira umuma And he gives them to think what is going to benefit you Kago muravyu You haven't understood Ara abanyabwenge badasinzira There are some people who do not sleep Kubera abakiranutsi basenga Because the righteous people who are praying Baru people Baruhuwa no gukora ibyimana ishaka They only rest until Muri they have done what they want to do in the vision of a righteous man God gives you many wise men He told Moses He told Moses go back to Egypt And Moses said I, I cannot speak He said you will find Aaron there <laughs> You are not requested to know everything. You just know God and God will give you wise men who know everything for you. There are engineers who went to school so that they can know the plan, the construction plan of the house you need. The wise men took things and went to visit Jesus. How they did for Christ is the same way they did for Christ. God gives you a very long list. May God find hands that will support you. May God give you the hands that will support you. May God give you the legs that will accompany you. Accept it or not, they are hands that saves you when you are about to fall. Secondly, they came carrying gifts. What was full in Christ is what we are given. In the book of Ruth, Ruth didn't, didn't cultivate. He went into the garden and as soon as he reached there, everything they have cultivated became of her own. When you become righteous, you connect your physical world to your spiritual realm because the spirit can't live in the physical world and the spiritual realm can't live in the physical world but in the physical there is soul and in soul there is spirit that flesh that have received soul it is, it is given to the angels that, that protect that new life because you have become a new creature. And then you are given a spirit that will lead you in your destination. Where you are leading, where you are coming from and where you are going, there are some blessings God created in the middle you have never lived. 
I'm telling you the truth you are income and capital is here you haven't made it your husband is alive it's because you haven't made it your wife is around you haven't made it your house is around it's because you haven't made it you are only requested of one thing think that God has that for you and then you become a God you pray in the authority of the and you live in the realm that receives what God is keeping for you among the things God is keeping for you there are some that goes beyond your dreams I want us to close on this but the Bible has said what is fullness in him is what we are keeping the authority that was in Jesus Christ it is not that authority that heals us of our sins salvation heals us of our burdens heals us of our tears heals us of our poverty heals us of our servants and poverty it heals us of our servantship salvation heals us of many things why does the shepherd say let's do deliverance for you it's because they have the authority that delivers you from a place you have never known and you never knew that you were broken there when they do not connect you with your spiritual realm it's like chasing away a dog but when you throw away the stones the young dog comes back that's the reason why Many people who are bad of deliverance they do not become delivered because they refuse to be connected with the spiritual realm. That spirit because it is circling around it doesn't have a place to live. It comes back in its own place. But, but when you're connected spirit. And when your flesh is not leading you to the spirit. And when your subconscious mind is led by the spirit. The Bible says that you step on scorpions and snakes. The Bible says you can eat even poison. The Bible says you have authority. Your faith it doesn't make you stop you fly you just fly it gives you wings it gives you what is beyond your dreams why is that when Jesus was in the world nobody was ready for his resurrection but his faith he was seeing death as case you will mind your subconscious mind it grows. Oh, 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 oh. Your mind grows. Your subconscious mind. It flies. The prayer of that person is written to the The job of that person is written to the Lord. They are offspring is coming from covenants. They are cut out from the one of the Lord. Their houses God has already provided. They are the prayer of the Lord. It is in the responsibility in the hand of the Lord. They have received wings. They have received Christ with everything full in him. Let's pray. There are some men I always fought with this ideology of churches, ideology of religions. I said, how can you receive Christ? He made you priest and then we are your servants. Ah. The Christ I received, he did not make me a servant of yours. If even in our family there is no servant, I cannot become, I cannot become a maid as a Christ as well. In the name of Jesus. I said, no, I cannot be your maid. Receive what is fullness in Christ Jesus. Receive the fullness 
fullness in Christ Jesus. Receive the fullness in Christ Jesus. Receive the fullness in Christ Jesus. We have a blessing where we have a shepherd. Please allow me we do not pray until we receive the shepherd. Please stand up. Let's receive the shepherd. May the Lord bless you, shepherd. What's filled in him? It is what he did. Is Jesus filled with wealth? Yes, Is Jesus filled with riches? Yes, Is Jesus filled with honor? May it be filled in you in the name of Jesus. What's filled in him? It is what he did. What? It is a great word. May God bless you. Let us take our hands to the man of God and say, Let's point our hands on him. Praise be to Jesus. Our great words. He said a great word. He spoke about a prepared man on the gate of beauty. He didn't believe. But the anointing that was on Peter and John. It was supposed to connect him with his lost leg. While Jesus reached to Bethany. Lazarus no longer believed because he died. But as the elder prophet was in the house, he reconnected him with the spirit of life. I prophesy tonight. I connect you with your atmosphere in the name of Jesus. You don't believe, but I do. Receive whatever you believe for in this year. There is a person whom God reveals to me who rents cars. Come and touch in this hand. It was no longer working. The person who rented cars. 